आप लीडर आशुतोष आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम कमिंग बैक ऑन द न्यूज आर टू नाइट आई एम सो ग्लैड दी आप स्टार्टेड कमिंग बैक ऑन टाइम्स नाउ आर्यमान सुंदरम सीनियर एडवोकेट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट शाजिया एलमी पोलिटिकल एक्टिविस्ट प्रीवियसली विद आप सलमान सोज ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू वानी त्रिपाठी टिकू व्हाट अ वंडरफुल एंड परफेक्ट ऑपर्चुनिटी स्नैच द ऑपर्चुनिटी वानी सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज पुट द ओनर्स कंप्लीटली ऑन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया टू अपहोल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोरालिटी वाइल ऑब्जर्विंग दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोरालिटी एंटेल्स दैट ही डज नॉट कंसिडर एमपीज चार्ज विद सीरियस क्राइम्स और मिनिस्टेरियल पोस्ट so uphold it remove uma bharti from the cabinet this is just the kind of opportunity that you would really want to have before the elections when will you do this when will you follow it and of course uh, we uphold uh, the observation made by the honorable supreme court and, and as far as uh, people uh, charged with the cases is concerned like uma let bharti me, let me let me at least start to speak arnab no like uma bharti uh, no let me at least start 13 to speak. cases it in all seven for serious crimes it is crimes. underlining the proactive arnab let me speak please i mean you've just about asked me a question at least give me 20 seconds to answer it It also underlines the proactive approach of the honorable prime minister who twice in the central hall of the parliament said that fast track courts should be established by the judiciary which means that people who are accused in and and charged no, 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 no. charge against not that. them which are of serious nature which are heinous they need no 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 why not why not let me complete and let me complete this is different there is a established principle already that Don't people hide who have that. heinous crimes against them cannot Don't be hide behind members. that That. you know them don't hide number behind two, that number 2 no nobody is hiding nobody is hiding no, no. but remember no, no. the distinction has to be made between heinous crimes no, no, and no, no, political no, 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 no. cases is, don't, don't don't you're sounding you like the congress party you're sounding like the congress party you're sounding like the congress party if you were to ride a bogey no i'm just like give me five are seconds are you calling more. the supreme if court you allegations were to ride bogey. a bogey of perception if you were to ride you no, are using no, words like not. bogey i'm absolutely saying what the supreme court has observed is actually underlining the proactive approach of the prime no, minister no, who no, said please no, is established no, fast no, track no, courts no, no, no. so people I, I think, can I be think you did. actually put under trial i'd like course. to get ashutosh of course do not just judge people by perception i i miss miss wa- miss 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 the party tiku miss the party tiku you see there is a there is a there is a there is a difference between the two okay mr okay now let me let me let me let me let me tell you something it was mr modi's initiative to fast track cases related to members of parliament but as i get ashutosh in the point is very simply this the supreme court has now entrusted him with the primary responsibility of upholding ashutosh constitutional morality in the induction of ministers hence the question will be will he walk the talk See, another the serious question is that let's not get into the legalities and the technicalities of it. The Supreme Court has very categorically stated that it's a question of constitutional morality. What is the constitutional morality, and what are the heinous crimes? If we stick to the charge sheet, let's let's come to the point. There are the ministers in Narendra Modi cabinet who has serious charges of provoking riots and creating a riot-like situation. There is a minister who has an accusation of being a rapist. the woman has held a press conference in jaipur that's true Clearly that's true the name and these two are still continuing as a minister so the question is is it not hurting the conscience of the constitution if it is hurting the conscience of the constitution these two members should not be the minister at all forget about the uma bharti vani so my question is i'm not here to ask a question to the bjp Ashutoshi. because the prime minister narendra modi is no, no, not going to oblige the supreme court friend, by asking uma bharti or anybody to resign my, because my it is the same friend. political party while i was a Ashutoshi. journalist the president mr nitin gadkari t- t- told me that about the yadrappa it's a question of morality not a question of legality and then the, considering the fact that yadrappa committed an immoral act uh, but not an illegal act So Yadrappa continued. Now you are, you are expecting Ashutosh Narendra Modi and BJP to Ashutosh oblige Ji. Supreme Court. Ashutosh Ji, you you are you are uh, Ashutosh Ji, you are a political animal yourself. You are a political activist yourself today, and you know what political cases can mean against leaders. 
the, so, you, so, you, so you, you so you so you are openly tomorrow. on national so, so television so you are on national is, television no, you are treating the supreme court Mr. Ashutosh, you are, no, no, no 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 this is not ashutosh this is orna bhia bani no absolutely no, no you what are treating therefore is, you are treating the supreme saying, court so sorry, with Arna, contempt what i am trying to say i am surprised i am surprised bani you are doing this what i am trying to say no i don't know what you are trying to say but i know you are treating the supreme court with contempt courts in place shazia wants to come in salman says the bogey of in. perception no, before you start naming people Ma, before please. you start naming people and arnab no, no. let those people at least be proven guilty in the court of law that's you read let the supreme court guilty. judgment See, have you read the supreme this. court judgment this, this, have you this are you is, aware of what the supreme court has as said as far as the judiciary of the country is yeah. concerned ah, but even so then now your fight is with the judiciary of the country shazia coming into the debate one minute shazia and ariman sundara what before shazia and then ariman sundara one second please yes you know what is most baffling indeed is prime minister's position today this is not prime minister of yester years this is not manmohan singh who was bound by coalition dharma where there were many centers of power this is a strong prime minister this is a minister who has complete and absolute majority this is not a helpless minister this is not a minister who has to resort to political expediency or desperation to get uh, vote banks uh, going for him why then when such a great opportunity is there to really cleanse the politics and make a statement and walk the talk of good governance and keeping away uh, uh, candidates with criminal uh, backgrounds and especially in the council of ministers why wouldn't the prime minister pairs the first among equals which is the prime minister take a call and a tough call and say until and unless these serious charges are taken care of and indeed the the the, the person is found innocent until then and we and will, what are they uh, saying we will keep it in abeyance and what and what and is the supreme court and we will allow others who do not so, have and, serious and, and criminal charges what, what is the supreme but court saying what second bani minute no, i want to i want to say this to the viewers Arnab, tonight Arnab, what, what is the supreme debate? court saying Arnab, dear viewers no no bani one i need to speak to the viewers and dear viewers what is the supreme court saying the supreme court bani just a minute i'm speaking to the viewers i'm speaking to our viewers and trying to explain the story to them Ladies and gentlemen the supreme court is not saying that they cannot be mps the supreme court is saying if there are serious charges they should not be considered to be part of the union council of ministers so aryaman sundaram the supreme court is categorically stating what is yes. expected of a prime minister on the issue of faith yes. and says that since he has that faith in him when he assumes office he should not take people with serious charges framed against them for ministerial births serious charges vani not everyone you realize don't make the debate trivial what Arna. second yeah, uh, aryaman sundaram aryaman sundaram is knows the legal yeah. position agna let me see let me just explain please uh let me just explain what exactly is the effect of the supreme court judgment there are four different aspects in the supreme court judgment Firstly the Supreme Court recognizes that the law in itself the constitution in itself as read does not expressly bar them from being appointed as ministers once they can be members of parliament Secondly the Supreme Court does not intend to judicially legislate by reading in a provision either in the constitution or the representation of people's act which is not there thirdly the supreme court recognizes the primacy of the prime minister in appointing and selecting yes. the council of ministers and advising the president to appoint them accordingly having noticed all this having noticed all this the supreme court says something which i think is completely implicit and something which any good citizen believes is that the constitutional expectation is that the council of minister will be the best of people people above board people who peop who the citizen can look up to and believe will govern yes. well and says this is a constitutional mandate which is implicit and since the prime minister is discharging a constitutional function yes. it is expected that he will honor the the spirit of the constitution and this mandate of the constitution to select the best of people which naturally eschews 
persons with criminal records or criminal background or people against who very serious charges yes. have been framed yes. serious not just charges. charge sheets have been framed and are facing charges i f i the congress wants to come to the debate and, and now it's an open debate ladies and gentlemen which means anyone Supreme can come Court. in but i want to let salman sos come in one Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching tonight, keep in mind why is the Supreme Court said this. The Supreme Court has said this because it feels there is an increasing criminalization of politics. Was it not the Bharatiya Janata Party which raised the issue of the criminalization of politics? It did. Here is an opportunity thrown at it. Why fight back, Salman Sos? Otherwise, they'll sound like you. Used to. No, there will then be no difference no, 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 between no, no, you and no, the BJP. Let me... Let me I'm let sorry. Me, no, no, I am no, not. I'm sorry. I don't mean me to insult you. you. I don't mean to insult you. But no, I'm no, saying there will then be no difference I between set, the Congress and the set, BJP. And uh, I will set the I will set the record straight. But first, Mr. Modi has a historic opportunity to either choose between the Gujarat model, where he, where he had convicted ministers in his cabinet, or what the Honorable Supreme Court has suggested to him in a very nice delicate way but in a very uh, very good way not taking his powers away but saying that you have an opportunity to get criminal those people who are charged with crime cr uh, crimes that you can take them out 18 percent of this cabinet has serious serious uh, charges of criminality against them 30 percent overall have criminal kind of cases against them so 18 one in five cabinet ministers have serious charges against them serious charges meaning Kidnapping, attempt to murder, and these yeah, kinds yeah. of things. Aren't cases. you the party Mr. that Modi was trying to promulgate an to ordinance? Aren't you the same party that was trying to promulgate an ordinance that strove and to I will protect tell you, these Arnab, people? We are the same political aren't party. You the same Arnab, party? We're the, we the same political. Listen to me. If if Mr. Modi follows our standards, where we ask several of our ministers to resign when there were allegations against them, aren't no you, cases. Aren't you the same party? And the second resigned. question. Why don't you aren't, accept aren't the national challenge? Aren't you the same party Arnab? which sure. refused to aren't form you, an SIT on black money? Aren't, in the your last decision in government was you, to ensure that there was no investigation aren't, on black money. Aren't, aren't the you same forgetting, party? Arnab? Are you not? We are the same party that asked ministers, cabinet ministers to resign when allegations were leveled against them. If Mr. Modi follows our example, he'll have to uh, basically withdraw, withdraw four, one out of yes, five of his ministers right now, today. So the question okay. goes. No, no, Vani Tripathi. So Mr. Modi no, no, Tripathi. Ashutosh coming example. back to the debate. His hand is up out there. Why don't you tell people I, that? I, I, one uh, second. Ashutosh. You know, Ashutosh uh, wants to come Arnab, in. Arnab, Vani, Arnab, Vani, Arnab. you're in Arnab. trouble on this see, one. See, Arnab, I think we, Ashutosh. We, 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 we are, Ashutosh. We, we, no, no, we absolutely. Ashutosh. We are absolutely. 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 If we remember in 1996. If we will all cross-talk, nobody is going to. Ashutosh. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a party which is led by Lalki Sadwani or Dhatal Vyari Bhatri, but this is a party which is led by Narendra Modi and Amit Shah. You remember in 1996, there was Jain Hawala case and uh, uh, Lalki Sadwani's name figured into that and he said, I will not, he resigned and he said, I will not enter into the parliament unless I get cleared. But here is a prime minister who was also the chief minister and there was serious allegation of the riots against him. He continued, not only continued, but a, a convicted minister also continued in his cabinet. And here is a party which Babu is led by a yes. gentleman.